Okay, so now let us continue our discussion on solving equations, the simple equations. Now in this video, I am going to give you an additional step which will simplify the way we solve the equations. So earlier we were adding numbers on both the sides or subtracting numbers on both the sides, right? So now we will find out an easier way to do that. So let us look at the equation. So first let's take up the example of an equation where you have to add a number on both the sides. So what happens here is we have this equation 3p minus 10 equals 5. So the way we proceed is we want to isolate this p, right, the, the p from here. So what we will do is we need to add 10 to both the sides. So what essentially we do is 3p minus 10 plus 10, that is we are adding 10 on both the sides and we have 5 plus 10. So when we solve this out, what we get is 3p equals, because this 10 will be cancelled out, 3p equals 5 plus 10. Now there is a reason why I have not added this. Okay, just look at this part. What has actually happened over here is that the original equation, if you look at it, it was 3p minus 10 equals 5. So when we added minus plus 10, that is we added 10 to both the sides, this equation became 3p equals 5 plus 10. So can I say that what, what essentially we have done is we have simply transformed transpose this minus 10 this minus 10 towards this side and the difference that has come is adding the addition here the sign has changed to addition so this is actually what is transposing rather than having this step here that is adding minus 10 adding 10 to both sides what we do is we simply transpose this subtraction right this minus 10 towards this side Right? So what happens in transposition is whenever you have a subtraction sign on one side, when you transpose it to the other, it becomes addition. So what essentially we get by direct transposing is 3p equals 5 plus 10, which is nothing but this minus 10 comes towards this side. So what essentially we did is we have just got rid of this step. This extra step has gone away and straight away we came to the this step that is 3p equals 5 plus 10. So this is what we mean by transposing. Now if I solve this you can see that we get 3p equals 15. Similarly here also we get 3p equals 15. So that is what we mean by transposing. When we have an addition or a subtraction we move the number to the other side Okay, and then there is a sign change involved. Now this was a case where we looked at the, when we had to add the number on one side. Now let us look when we have to subtract. So using our conventional method or the earlier method, we would have solved this equation. The first step would be subtracting 12 from both the sides. So what we would have done is, we would have done 5x plus 12 minus 12 equals 27 minus 12. Now this is first step, right? And then when we simplify it further, we have 5x. Now this gets simplified and we have 27 minus 12. This is what we have got, right? So now if I go to transpose, right? Let's, let's look at the transposition. So what we have, we have 5x and then there is an addition of 12 plus 12 equals 27. Now we are going to transpose this 12 towards the side that is the this is the left hand side and we have the right hand side. So I am going to transpose this plus 12 to the right hand side from the left hand side to the right hand side and that will involve a sign change that is if we have a plus we need to change it into minus. So what we have here is we will have 5x equals 27 minus 12. Now, as you can see, it's just a simple observation. See, we got the same step using 
this method that is where we are subtracting 12 from both the sides or we are transposing from one side to the other so essentially when I simplify let's say this part we have 5x equals 15 right similarly here also we get 5x equals 15 so what essentially we have done is we have simplified our method to solve the equation right so so this is this is essentially what is transposing so now let us look at a few problems using transpose now we have an equation here 4 into m plus 3 equals 18 wow so now we have a bracket involved now before we can even start to look at this solution we must open the brackets simplify this and then we move ahead to solve the equation so opening the bracket we will first multiply the 4 with m then we multiply the 4 with 3 to simplify this term so we have 4 m plus 3 into 4 equals 18 or what we get is 4 m plus 12 equals 18 now as you can see that we got the simplified equation here now to solve this equation we first need to remove this 12 from the left hand side that is this 12 needs to go away and then we can try to remove the 4 and isolate m so now instead of subtracting 12 from both the sides we simply transpose transpose 12 from from left hand side to the right hand side so what we are doing is this 12 comes towards here that is the right hand side and this plus will become a minus so what we are going to have is 4m equals 18 minus 12 or 4m equals 6 now we need to still isolate m by dividing this term on the left hand side by 4 so we divide this by 4m divided by 4 equals 6 by 4 we need to divide both the sides by 4 right so let me just write it down here dividing both sides by 4 so this gets cancelled and we have m equals 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 2 is 4 m equals 3 by 2 so this is the solution that we have got over here now we, we need to check this solution all right so to check this check the solution we substitute m equals 3 by 2 in the left hand side of the equation so we have 4 into 3 by 2 plus 3 right and when we simplify this so we multiply 4 with this and then the 4 is also multiplied with the second term here so we have 4 into 3 by 2 plus 3 so this gets cancelled out so we have 2 times 2 is 4 right and 4 into 3 by 2 and of course yeah this also needs to be multiplied by 4 sorry that was a so 4 into 3 right so 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 times 4 yes 3 times 4 is 12 and 6 plus 12 is equal to 18 which is equal to your right hand side so for m equals 3 by 2 we see that the left hand side equals right hand side and therefore m equals 3 by 2 is a solution of this equation let us look at a similar example so here we have minus 2 times in braces x plus 3 equals 5 now as we did in the earlier problem if we have a brace we first sort the brace so first we will multiply minus 2 with x and then we will also multiply minus 2 with 3 to sort to simplify the left hand side of this equation so we have minus 2 into x plus 
minus 2 into 3 equals 5 or we have minus 2x minus 6 because minus 2 into plus 3 is minus 6 equals 5. So this is the equation that we have. Now we need to isolate this x to solve the problem, this equation. So we can transpose minus 6 towards the right hand side and we know that in transpose we just this sign will change. So what we have is minus 2x equals 5 plus 6, right? So now we have minus 2x equals 11. Now if, if we want to solve this further, we can divide both the left hand side and the right hand side by 2 so that we'll just get x. So what we'll do is minus 2x divided by minus 2. In fact, we'll divide both of them by minus 2 so that we can get a simple x without any negative sign here. So we have 11 divided by minus 2. Okay, now this minus 2 gets cancelled and we have x equals minus 11 by 2. As you might be aware that when you have a plus sign above and a minus sign below, so we get, we, we get the minus sign. So x equals minus 11 by 2 is the solution that we have arrived at. Now let us check this solution by substituting x equals minus 11 by 2 in the left hand side. So we have minus 2 into x plus 3, right? So, or we can put it as minus 2 into minus 11 by 2 plus 3. Solving it further, simplifying it further, we first multiply 2 with this first term and the 2 with 3. So we have minus 2 into minus 11 by 2 plus minus 2 into 3. Or, so when I, first of all, when we have a minus 2 into minus 11, it will become minus 20 plus 22. A minus into minus gives us plus divided by 2 and when we have a minus into a plus we get minus and then we have again have this plus so plus into minus it again becomes minus so we have a minus 6 right so essentially it is 11 because this becomes 11 minus 6 or which gives us 5 now this is nothing but your right hand side Thus, for the value of x equals minus 11 by 2, the left hand side of the equation equals the right hand side. And we say that this is a solution of this equation. So this was, these were the examples where we saw how to use a transpose. Now, let us quickly review what, what all we learnt about transposing. Now transposing simply means changing the side of a number. That's what essentially it is. And it mainly it has helped us to simplify our calculation. We got rid of one step out of it. It is same as adding or subtracting the number from both sides. That's what the advantage. And the key thing to note is that the sign of number changes when it changes the side. So this was all about transposing. In the next video, we are going to learn that if we have a solution, can we come up with an equation?